Hello, my name is Dusty Bowling, and for Poetry Week on Twitter, I will be reading three poems from my new book, The Canyon's Edge, which comes out on September 8th of this year. The book is mostly written in verse, so if you enjoy verse novels and you enjoy survival stories, you might enjoy this one. The first poem I'm reading is called Living Water. I've seen rivers and ponds formed instantly when the heavy monsoons dump inches of water on the desert in seconds. I've seen flash floods before, but I've never seen one like this. The waters churn and turn and roil and boil and swirl and whirl and foam and form into dizzying whirlpools then dissolve. I have to remind myself the water's not alive. It won't reach up with slender flowing fingers and take me, pry me, snatch me from this wall, suck me down into its violently whirling, tirelessly turbulent mouth. The fear, the anxiety controls me, is in every part of me as I cling to this wall of stone. What do you fear, Eleanor? Dying. Are you likely to die in this situation? Yes. Now, this one is called Stress. I'm climbing using cracks that my fingers barely slip into up to the first knuckle. I'm climbing using, using protrusions in the rock that may only stick out enough to hold the tips of my fingers and toes. My feet are sore, toes raw, toenails torn, my hands are swollen, palms sliced, fingers cracked, fingernails shredded to nuts. At home, I eat my chocolate and listen to my music and wrap myself tightly in my soft blanket and tie my figure eights and knead my balloon of flour. Mary told me how to make it. A regular birthday balloon, baking flour, and a funnel to fill it, and I knead and knead and knead until the balloon bursts. Then I make another one. There's no way I could hold on to this wall of rock right now with my marred hands if I hadn't kneaded my balloon of flour thousands and thousands of times. And this last one is called Underneath. A dust devil spins across the landscape like a small tornado. I watch it as I walk, wishing it were made of water like a water spout. I would dive inside it and let it twist me, twirl me, whisk me away. The devil moves in my direction or my own feet are carrying me toward the column of dust, as though I'm not controlling them, as though they have a mind of their own, and that mind believes there's water in the whirlwind. Water. Not just to drink, but to dive. I remember swimming with my mom in our pool in the desert, the coconutty smell of sunblock, the sounds of splashing, and her voice like the sun's warm embrace on my skin. My hair soaks up every ray and heats to burning. My toes sting on the terribly named cool ducking, and I dip them in the refreshing blue. And then I jump into the cold water, the relief against my hot scalp so intense it gives me chills. The feel of chlorine in my eyes, the blurred sounds and images of the underneath when I try to stay under as long as possible, challenging myself to hold my breath always longer. My mom worried I wasn't coming back up. I reach the dust devil and it envelops my body for only a second before dissolving back to the desert. I take in a lungful of dust and stop, double over, heaving and coughing. I can barely breathe until every grain is gone. I stand back up, wipe up my sand-filled ice, and continue along the edge. I feel as though I'm in the underneath now, images all blurry, holding my breath, but without the coolness of the water to soothe my burning cheeks, blazing scalp, battered body, and without my mom here to worry that I won't be coming back up. And those are three poems from my book, The Canyon's Edge, which is coming out on September 8th. Thank you, everybody. Bye.